All right. Um, so in this one, we have a horizontal axis symmetry passes through a point 4, 6, and it has a vertex at 0, 0. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have a couple of these problems on your test. And you know, rather than trying to say, hey, use this format, use this format, what I want you guys to do is just think of, all right, the most important thing, guys, is to, um, most important thing is just to plot the information. I think everybody in this class is more than capable of plotting two points and then a horizontal line of symmetry, right? So let's plot the points. So we go to 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know, so that's one point, and that's your vertex, right? Now it says it has a horizontal line of symmetry, so is it possible, so is the graph going to open up or down? No, horizontal line symmetry means it's going to open in left or right. Caroline, could you put that down, please? Thank you. So it's going to be opening left or right, correct? OK. So is it possible for me to write the graph opening to the left? No. So I'm going to open it to the right. Now, Josh, when it opens up to the right, is my value of p going to be positive or negative? Positive, right? Because the focus obviously is going to the right, so it has to be positive. So when I'm doing my algebra and doing all the math, if I get a p that's negative, I need to double check my work or double check what I did, right? And just make sure that I, it's correct. But yes, as of right now, this needs a, um, my p should be positive. All right, so now since this opens up left or right, um, Gabby, what type of equation are we dealing with? Or what's going to be squared in the equations? x, right? So we're going to use this equation. No, 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 no. Other one, y is going to be squared. Y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. All right? So um, now we know that the vertex represents hk, right? So we can plug in. We know the vertex is 0, 0. So let's put 0 in for k and for x. All right? But guys, this is kind of boring just subtracting zeros. Let's just simplify this. Is that, is that OK? I don't want to say subtract zeros. It doesn't, it, it's not doing anything. We know, the vec we know the vertex is at 0, 0. So we don't need to write minus 0. It's not going to change the answer. Now, um, so we have three variables here y, p, or x, all right? And Caroline, p represents, again, what? The p represents the distance from the vertex to the focus. Do we know the value of p? Here, so far there, there. Do we have the value of p? No, so we're going to have to solve for this. That means I need to find some values for x and y's. And x and y, remember, when we talked about the definition of a parabola, the definition of a parabola is infinite many points, right? Make up a parabola. But we only need one x and y. And Emily, do we have any x or y points in our problem? Anything that we can use? Yeah, we have the one point that they said the parabola goes through is 4, 6. So Emily, that can be represented as an x and a y coordinate, right? Or x and y coordinates. So now, I don't know what p is. I don't have any information for p. But I do know that I can represent y as 6, and I can represent uh, 4 for x. Yes, anybody? Yes, Bueller? OK. So therefore, that's 36 equals 16p divided by 16. Divided by 16, that's going to be 9 fourths. Does that make sense to everybody? Kind of, a little bit? I divided 36 by 4, which was 9, and I divided 16 by 4, which is 4. So that's where I got 9 fourths. All right, so again, their question is, though, find the, find the standard form of the equation, right? Is that what they ask? Is that a standard form? OK. So to find the standard form, um, so p is 9 fourths, which would be 1, 2, and 1 fourth. So that's your focus. It's 9 fourths. Um, but they want us to find the standard form of the equation. So I'll go back over to my equation. The y minus k, actually, forget that. 
let's just go back to this standard form of the equation because we already know the vertex is at uh, we already know the vertex is at um, is at zero, so we don't need to write the minus minus zero. Now, do we know the value of p? Yeah. So now let's plug in the value of p and have x and y represent all of the x and y's of the parabola. And there we go. Again, oh yeah, let's look back to Josh. Josh was our p positive? Yes. So we know we made a good step there. The 4's uh, divided out. And we're just left with the standard form of the equation is y squared equals 9x. But is that always how we solve them out? Not always. A lot of times we'll solve by x equals y squared over 9. Now, guys, we haven't really looked at too many problems that look like this. More commonly seen as 1 ninth times y squared. Okay, So that's what it looked like for a horizontal parabola, which are extinct. Now we call them parabolas.